Hi guys, welcome back to All About The XA40 on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal and on this channel, we are doing lots of videos about all the functionalities of the Canon XA40 Professional Camcorder. Today we're gonna to be looking at shooting modes. So these are kind of quick access features to give you access to a certain look and feel in a shot. These are only available in manual mode of operation. So there's a little switch and I'm gonna show it right now to the uh, left of the zoom rocker and it says auto and M. If it's in auto mode, that's pulled towards you. You're not gonna have these available in the camera. So you're gonna have to put it into manual mode by pushing the switch forward. And like many things on the camcorder, this is the big advantage of having everything, you know, reachable by a physical switch. So I'm gonna just uh, start up the camcorder here, turn it on, pull down the uh, shutter cover and jump into the menus. And then we're gonna take a look at these and I'm gonna be pretty much just reading off the user manual to explain what these different modes are. So the first one we have is programmed AE. The camcorder automatically sets the shutter speed, aperture and gain. AE stands for auto exposure. Uh, then we have a TV, uh, it says you manually set the shutter speed while the camcorder automatically adjusts aperture and gain. Next one we're gonna have is AV aperture priority. You manually set the aperture and ND filter while the camcorder automatically adjusts the shutter speed and the gain. Now I'm in the manual setting and that's this is the most manual one. You manually set shutter speed, aperture and gain. And now we're getting into the more uh, sort of, you know, look and feel ones. So we have portrait, sports, sports is recording sporting scenes as you'd expect optimized for that in terms of look and feel. Then we have night scene for recording nightscapes with lower noise. We have snow for recording in bright ski resorts without the subject being underexposed. We have uh, next coming up beach, which is going to be to record on a sunny beach without the subject being underexposed. You can see it's got a t color temperature adjustment there too. Sunset to record sunsets in vibrant colors. Next one is gonna be important, low light to record in low light situations. The XA40 with the one over 2.3 CMOS sensor struggles a bit in low light, so this can be very helpful. Spotlight to record split scenes. And uh, then we're gonna have fireworks for the odd time you're recording fireworks. So these give certain look and feels, and these are all detailed, the various important modes, the shooting modes uh, on page 44 of the user manual, if you wanna really dig into those, but manual, a within manual is going to give you the most control of all. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.